Okay guys, it's Chris. I'm out here at our latest plumbing job in East Germantown section in Philadelphia. I'm going to take you through this house. That was the hose bib I was just showing you out front. Basically every house we want to make sure we have working hose bibs. I'm just going to walk through this house kind of quickly until we get to the dining, uh, kitchen here. And uh, Basically, all of our plumbing jobs, we wanted the plumbing to be all inclusive. So everything from the gas lines, to the water lines, and so on. Drain lines, so here's a kitchen. We're probably gonna replace this kitchen with a similar setup. So uh, kitchen uh, sink hookup might move, might not move, I'm not exactly sure. But you can uh, see that's not a big deal to move if we need to, but uh, it's going to include the uh, kitchen sink and everything to hook it up, supply lines, etc., drain lines. We're also going to install a dishwasher in here. So include in your price, uh, you know, the uh, installation of the dishwasher. And we also have a gas range going in here. And you can see there's already a gas line. Uh, looks like it's piped across uh, from under the cabinet. We might have to, you know, rerun that and run it through the floor right here if we decide to keep the stove here, but most likely be the same layout. So that's what we have in the kitchen. Let me take you down to the basement and show you what's up down there. Okay guys, we're looking at the uh, water meter here. <clears throat> and you can see uh, kind of bad shape behind the walls here. This is all gonna be taken care of. You see the gas comes in here and also the water. So the gas meter is here. Doesn't appear to be locked. Seems to be on at this point. I don't know if it's off at the street. I had a hard time locating anything out at the street. Uh, so the curb vent, I couldn't find much. But here's the water line. Seems like it has a decent valve on it. Um, seems kind of small, maybe running back through the house. But uh, any case, that's what we have there. For the water line, uh, everything seems to be in good shape. We'll come through the rest of the basement here. This is the water line running back. And uh, also I noticed over here, there's some water lines, I guess, coming out of the floor and going up to the uh, second floor. So they're kind of wavy, crazy looking. Uh, these valves, I'm not sure if these work or not, but we want to test the valves, replace them if they need to be replaced. And, uh, you know, basically keep that theme throughout. Wherever, you know, wherever we have shut off valves, obviously they need to work. So we need to test them and if they're worn out, replace them. Also down here we have a uh, sort of a kubi hole uh, bathroom if you, if you want to say that. So this thing, we might be able to save this vanity, but you know, just figure on, replace the vanity, the faucet, the toilet, the medicine cabinet, the whole deal. Um, again, we may be able to keep this, so we can talk about that later when you come in. Uh, also, just want to note the floor in here is kind of rotted out. This is going to have to be uh, all repaired and probably tiled and everything by the uh, GC on the job, the contractor on the job. So come back to the uh, laundry room here. And we have a uh, old laundry tub. Well, not old, but newer plastic laundry tub that's been painted. Looks kind of crappy. Just figure on replacing this with a new faucet, new tub. Make sure the drain works. Everything's co uh, copacetic with the drain. And uh, that's about it. You can see here the sink drain. That comes from the kitchen upstairs. Comes through here. Um, so, you know, it looks like possibly limited access, difficult access here. And uh, the gas line, this is all closed in, so we may have to open this stuff up to access that. In any case, there's a gas line coming here for the dryer. We're probably gonna just eliminate that and probably just cap that off. And, uh, cause we'll probably put an electric, we're gonna upgrade the electric here. And you can see it has a washer dryer hookups. Actually it has like three hookups, which I don't know if one of these is supposed to be a hose bit. Uh, in any case, so there's two hot lines here, not sure. In any case, uh, probably want to replace these with a uh, you know, nice laundry valve uh, and laundry drain. You know, possibly we put the drain into the uh, laundry tub. Okay, that's uh, pretty much it for there. So new shut off valves, all that stuff. Come over here, look at the heater. I'm kind of looking for somebody that has uh, some heater experience that can at least you know service this heater for us. Tell us the radiators are in uh, good condition or not, and you know tell us what, what the thing needs. But basically, it seems to be in pretty good condition. It's a newer crown unit, a uh, pretty large unit. And uh, it does need to be gas piped in correctly. I see this flex line on here. And I'm not sure we can keep that. But um, other than that, we can uh, 
more or less just service the heater check it out check out the chimney uh, make sure the clean out is cleaned out and um, everything is good to go here so make sure there's no leaks from the system and uh, which you know looks like there may be some green spots here and there and uh, also the hot water tank it appears to be in good shape but I think I'm gonna go ahead and say let's replace the hot water tank it's a little bit uh, burned up rusted up and everything down here you can give me your opinion on it but I think uh, probably our safest bet and um, that's about it down here also want to make sure there's a hose bib in the rear I'm not sure if there is but if there is not we want to add one and uh, from there that is about it for the basement let's go upstairs to the um, second floor bathroom and uh, show you what's in there okay guys I mentioned the heating so I'm just going to take a quick look around the uh, radiators I did before they all appear to be in good condition so basically on the radiators you want to replace the um, the uh, vent valve on it make sure that's working everything is in good order but other than a little pink they seem to be in good condition so, looking at those I'm gonna run over here real quick and end this video take a look in the bathroom it's kind of dark I don't have any lights on so I apologize but basically the stuff in here is not too bad recently replaced but we're just gonna probably get rid of this stuff and put new uh, vanity a better faucet than this one we want to see at least levers or something decent the medicine cabinet I uh, usually put that with the plumbing contract as well just to make sure everything lines up plum, uh, plum here with the vanity also the tub it's a newer uh, crappy tub and uh, doesn't seem to be in the best of shape might as well just replace it these are cheap enough so replace the tub check the waste and overflow check all the underfloor plumbing make sure everything is right that's basically what we're looking for the uh, toilet we could possibly keep I'm not sure what the inside of it looks like it's too dirty just replace it it's not worth the trouble and uh, the shower valve the whole bathroom in here is going to be demoed and it's going to be re retiled by the GC so basically in here we want to put a new uh, single handle shower valve new faucet head probably at a normal height lower than that and uh, a shower head which this one's like ultra high and uh, that's about it for here I mean, we want to replace all of, all the plumbing and fixtures in here that we can so obviously new shutoff valves under the vanity if they're not already you know pretty new I mean these look kind of kind of shitty not what you expect to see under here and that's about it in here you know, replace everything but the rest of it is going to be on the GC the flooring everything else let's take a quick spin through the master bedroom here and we can see the inside of the access panel just so you can see what we're working with back here old iron piping or galvanized piping it looks like that's great and uh, some real skinny lines coming up from the floor here so in any case should be easy, easy to deal with everything because we're gonna replace all of this okay so that's about it for this job guys it's a pretty simple job again uh, we, you know for our jobs we want to be all inclusive on everything so if there's something I missed you know uh, well what that included if it's a plumbing item anything water lines drain lines gas lines etc um, if you have the ability to do the heating that's really what I'm looking for is a contractor a plumbing contractor that can also deal with the heating so it doesn't need a whole lot of work just fire up the system test it etc um, if you believe you can do this job for around twenty eight hundred to three thousand dollars uh, please give me a call you can meet me out that includes all materials now twenty eight hundred to three thousand dollars including materials if you can do it if you believe you can do it within that price range give me a call we'll meet out here at the house and you can take a walk through it personally and give me your bid thank you